These people need to eat, and apparently, I am their only hope. Hello, everybody, I'm Kylie Kid, and this is Eating Simulator. This guy needs to eat an eye, so we're gonna help him do that by just shoving this eyeball down his throat, and I literally need to guide it through his digestive system. That is just disgusting. But I did my job. I guess that is my job title. I'm a professional food feeder. Person feeder. I need to give this person some watermelon, but I have to slice the watermelon for them. So how do I do this? I didn't realize that knives were in my job description. Okay, okay, wait, no, 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 that slice is way too big, dude. You're gonna choke. Got it. okay, there you go. That's, well, don't eat the knife. Oh my gosh, okay. Eh, that's still a pretty big slice of watermelon there. Okay, well, at least you don't have to move once you're, you're, you're done digesting that uh, watermelon because you're eating watermelon on toilet. Your dining room table is actually a toilet? What is wrong with these people? This guy's thirsty. I got it. Oh my gosh. No, what? Okay. How much of this do I have to actually get into his into his gullet? Just a few little specks of, of liquid? Circular liquid? No! You have to have Wi-Fi on. They caught me. What if I was recording this video on an airplane? Then what? Fortunately, I'm not on an airplane. I'm just saying. Force me to turn on my Wi-Fi. Turn off airplane mode. Here you go, baby. Enjoy your your milk. Drink. This is this is some truly curdled milk. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry about your jaw. I okay, can I just take the weird gelatinous milk out of the bottle? <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> He's crying. No! Oh, whew, we almost lost it. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, here. There you go. There you go. Right into the belly. Good, good, yummy. As a parent, that's exactly what feeding your baby is like, in case you were wondering. Oh man, this dude's real hungry. What happened to your mouth, dude? Why is it so big? It's freaking me out. And also, like, where's the rest of your body? Maybe I can just pick up the whole plate and just dump it into your face. That was not the most elegant way of doing that. No, you need the meat. Okay, there you go. Do you want the plate as well? While you're there, you might as well. Oh, hungry duck, goose thing. There you go, bud. Just slide it right down there and poop it right out into whatever pond you're standing next to. It's disgusting. He wants a, a little Nemo though. This is not little Nemo. Those were like trout. Dude wanted clownfish, a delicacy. This dog has a terrifyingly long tongue. I hate it, but I'm gonna try to pick up the whole bowl. No, 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 I just totally messed it up. All right, well, at least you got some, right? Yeah, yum. That's how dogs eat bones, right? They just, they just swallow the whole thing like a pill. They love it. What's going on with this guy? I gotta clean out his nasal cavity. Have you guys ever used a neti pot before? You know what I'm talking about? It's one of those weird little, like, they almost look like a teapot and you, you put like salt water in it and then you and then you put it through your nose and it like drips out your, it's disgusting. But when you have a cold or like weird stuff going on up here, whoo, It'll clean you right out. It's it's a magical experience for sure, but also very disgusting. So I'm just going to give this guy the most aggressive neti pot ever. For the record, you're not supposed to use hose water when you use a neti pot. You're supposed to boil the water or use distilled like bottled water because there can be like really nasty things and they'll like do nasty stuff if you pour them in your nose because that's like a, a direct line to your brain. Oh, ramen, let's go. He's so excited about it. All right, you got to add hot water or, or you already did. So you waited, right? 
you take the ramen cup, you put the hot water in it, and then normally what I do is like I take like a fork and then I just put the fork on top of the, the paper part so that, you know, it, it gives it a nice little seal, get all that steam nice and contained, and then you just take the whole cup and you dump it in your face. Oh, I wanted to, no, I wanted to do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, the noodles. They were in there and then they got out. Gosh. I'm terrible at this job. Get the whole noodle in there, man. There you go. All right. Mmm, raw sardines. Send those down the, the mouth shoot straight into the toilet. You know, as disgusting as it is, I can't help but respect the fact that these people have really streamlined their entire life, yet eat at the table on a toilet. You never have to move. Like ever. It's disgusting. He wants mustard on his on his hot dog, so we've got to do that. Okay, okay. All right, great. Great job, me. Wait, the, the, okay, what is happening to the mustard? It's not even sticking to the hot dog. All right, you know what? Eat the hot dog. Eat the mustard. There you go. That's what I always think. You know how like certain foods, they, they, they need like a condiment, like a hot dog. Like you gotta have something on a hot dog. Who eats a plain hot dog? I'm sure there's people out there that eat plain hot dogs, but let's be real. Most people like ketchup or mustard or relish or mayo. I don't know. Like I know that hot dog toppings can get pretty weird, but you do that only for taste. You would never eat a hot dog and then like squirt mustard down your mouth after you swallowed the hot dog, right? It's it's just psychotic. But technically, it's going to be the same thing in your stomach as if you ate it all together. It's just going to taste a lot different. This person is having some serious issues. And um, as someone who has, you know, some tummy aches from time to time, I can relate to this very, very upsetting situation. He's crying so hard that his tears are spinning around like <laughs> helicopter blades. If he cries any harder, he's at risk of actually flying away. Let's try to clear up this blockage. Oh gosh. Oh, you need a doctor, man. It's red, my guy. Like, I don't know what that is. Some kind of worm or something? Dude needs some professional medical help. I'm not qualified for this. I'm glad that we could help though as truly vile and disgusting as it was. Hot peppers, you want them in your nose? What is wrong with you? Wait, can I get them through your mouth? Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. All right, how about more? You want more? Oh, they're bouncing out your nose. I hate it when that happens. You're eating extremely hot chili peppers and they just come right up out of your stomach and into your nose. How do you want your egg? Over easy? You got it, man. Gotta crack that egg. Got it. Gotta crack it okay i've i've learned a technique from tiktok oh this is not working this this is not working at all he wants it over easy but th the shells dude <sighs> whatever you're gonna get some shells in your eggs but apparently i learned this on tiktok i haven't actually like practiced it or tried it but if you take an egg and you just drop it from like a foot off of the counter it always cracks like perfectly i don't know if i buy it I don't know if I buy it. But you are supposed to crack eggs on a flat surface. You're not supposed to crack eggs on the edge of the bowl because that makes the shells go inside of the yolk. It could damage the yolk. It could get eggs inside of your yolk. It's not a good situation. Crack your eggs on a flat surface. Hmm? Pro tip right here. Cooking extravaganza. That's right. I'm I'm taking over the, the cooking scene. Gordon Ramsay. There's a new chef in town. Okay. You want the lollipop. Oh. Oh, it's, it's like melting away. Okay, the lollipop is almost gone. That is not the way lollipops work. They, they take like half a day to dissolve, okay? Eat the fish. There you go. Yum. It's so gross. Guiding a fish through another fish's intestines. Video games in the year 2023, am I right? Cheese? The little mouse wants some cheese. There you go. It's a very bouncy cheese. It kind of looked like a sponge, to be honest. Oh, he wants carrots. We will we will provide him with carrots. Eat them. Enjoy them. There you go. 
Where did that carrot go? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is going on with these flies? They're so they're so bouncy. Seems like everything in this game is made out of jelly or jello. I like insect. Okay, then you eat insect. Are caterpillars insects though? Butterflies are. I, I guess that means that a caterpillar is an insect. Hold on. I love that it's the first search term on Google. Are caterpillars insects? Yes. They don't start out with six legs, but when they become butterflies, they have six proper legs. This guy apparently likes poison. Okay. I, you hired me for the job. I take my job very seriously. Even though things may end poorly for you, I will feed you the poison. Okay, he likes broccoli. That's probably good that you like broccoli. Don't be like the previous guy and like poison. It's way worse for you. I like meat. No, it doesn't say that, but we know that lions do like just a giant, like cartoon looking slab of meat that is also apparently made out of jello. Could you imagine meat flavored jello? I bet someone has made that before. That's disgusting. Take your medicine, it'll make you feel better. If you guys were around a few weeks ago, you know that I got pretty sick. Uh, I like lost my voice. It was awful. My throat hurt so bad. Medicine was my lifesaver because it hurt so bad. We're back to feeding this guy eyeballs. Have I, have I, I've, I've fully cycled all of my feeding jobs and now I'm just coming back around. It's like another week of work. Go through the routine. All these people, they have their designated times that I will show up to feed them the things that they want to be fed. That is the life and the job of a professional feeder. Can I cut this watermelon more than I cut it last time? No, I cannot. Oh yes, I can. How small of bits of watermelon can you create? Oh, why don't you eat the knife? Or just get it lodged in your throat. See, like I said, I'm a professional feeder. Take my job very seriously. 